it's promised to be the biggest, baddest, most powerful rocket that we've seen. NASA's building the most ambitious deep space vehicle ever, and it's called the Space Launch System. Take a look. Many rockets we know have traveled to the International Space Station hundreds of miles in space, but NASA says, and it's called the SLS, will be able to carry cargo and people past the moon, eventually to Mars. Well, let's talk about it. Clara Moskowitz is the associate editor at Scientific American and joins us now to talk about how NASA plans to pull this off and when. So let me understand this just a little bit, Clara. Uh, what's different about this launch system? This rocket is going to be by far the biggest rocket anyone has ever built. It's going to be more powerful than the Saturn V's that sent our astronauts to the moon. And it's designed to go farther out into space than humans have ever been, out, out to asteroids and to Mars and really to deep space. Does it look any different? I mean, will we be able to see it, you know, and say, oh, that clearly looks completely different? And if so, what's different about it? The shape, the size? It will look different, although maybe more to an expert's eye. Um, yeah. and one of the interesting things about this rocket is that it's actually built from a lot of recycled parts from the space shuttle and older programs. So you might recognize huh. the, the look and feel of some of its components. All right, does that help bring the price tag down? Because when you say big, bad, best, I'm thinking also very expensive. That's right, yeah. One of the reasons for reusing these shuttle components is price, but it's also because they're just really well understood. They're well known, and, and that's safer in a lot of ways. Um, NASA's estimating that this rocket is going to cost $18 billion just to make it to its very first launch. But the honest answer is really, who knows yeah. how much it's going to cost in <laughs> exactly. the long run. All right, and when are we talking about this? I know that we'll start with cargo, I would imagine, first. But when are we going to start thinking about using this for people toward Mars and beyond? The first launch is scheduled for 2018, and so far they've been consistently on time, on schedule. Wow. So 2018, it's going to launch with no people on it. They're going to, to pack a capsule on the top of it and send it out past the moon and back but it's going to be purely a test run to make sure everything works. And if that goes smoothly, you could see people go on the same mission a few years later. And NASA's planning to try to send astronauts out to visit an asteroid somewhere in the 2020s, and then eventually on to Mars, the red planet, by the mid-2030s. It's kind of a wild to even think of that with a date attached to it. All right, now, we've all been seeing the recent explosions on the SpaceX stuff. This has nothing to do with that. It's not the same program. But do you think people still have full confidence in launching rockets right now? And we have 23 yeah. seconds. I'm sorry, I left you with very little time. <laughs> it, it was a blow, but it just tells us that rocket science is rocket science. I think this program will move on. Yeah, absolutely. Rocket science is most definitely the only thing is truly rocket science. Clara Moskowitz with Scientific American. Thank you.